Okay, I am back for take two. I thought I was in my personal page, but I'm pretty sure I might have been in the one of a kind group, but I didn't see anybody commenting when I don't see myself on the main page. If you can see me, if you're watching from the one of a kind virtual rubber stamp and scrapbook virtual event, give me a shout out and a thumbs up. I'm watching my phone to make sure that I am live. Oh, I see one eyeball. So can you give me a thumbs up, make sure I'm in the one of a kind rubber stamp and scrapbook virtual event. That way I know I'm going live in the right spot. I had a little bit of a panic mode on that first video because I don't see it on the Facebook feed and I don't see any comments on my phone. So I'm hoping that you can hear me. And I think we're just gonna start rolling and hopefully comments will start coming in. All right, so this month features the Little Latte Kits in the Mail. It's this diagonal fold. Again, I see six eyeballs only. And let me know, give me a thumbs up that I'm in the right spot. And we will get rolling. So my Kits in the Mail featured the Little Latte Designer Series paper and some of the die cuts. I also added some decal circles and then this uh, stylish shapes square that's got the stitching on it. I see 11 eyeballs now, so maybe I'm in the right spot. I did notice that Inky Stamp Stamper got done uh, so, uh, early. I should have just went on then because uh, newest activity. Here we go. Okay, now I see myself. All right. Okay. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, now I see some comments. Diane, Laura, Sharon. That is weird. Okay. And guess what? I have got feedback on my AirPods, so I'm going to take those out, and hopefully we will. you'll hear myself on the computer. Okay. All right, can you hear me now? Oh, so sorry for these technical difficulties. All right, so let's get started. Little dot latte. I can't include the sentiment stamps um, in your kits because Stampin' Up! Prohib prohibits us from including stamped images, but I can include die cuts in your kits. Uh, okay, saw you, lost you. Yeah, Sue, I just had a moment of panic there because nobody was commenting. All right, and everybody can still hear me? I can hear and see you. Good. Thank you, one of a kind admin, letting me know you can hear and see me. All right. The Little Latte collection features these pattern papers, so I scattered them throughout the four kits. You had the option to purchase either two kits or four kits. And let's get started with the first kit. And if you purchase the kits, grab them out. You're going to look for the top of the cup one. And you're going to start fussy cutting your images. So two of the kits featured these images. So you got a selection. Pretty sure I tried to make sure you got one of these blue hearts because that's what I featured. And then one, one of these brown hearts as well. But you got all these other ones that are included. And then the second kit featured these cups and you'll just need two of those cups. So start uh, cutting out, fussy, fussy cutting out those latte if you haven't done already. And once you've done that, Sharon says we can see you. Teresa says we can hear you. I think I kind of freaked out because there was so much dead time between me and Inky Stamper. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so let's grab your kit. So the top of the cup, let's do the brown one first. We'll feature all these die cut shapes, some ribbon. You'll get a strip of these adhesive back sparkle gems. I'm just going to be using them for my used pack right there, but I always feature strips of gems because I can just cut them off from the package. So find your card base, flip it over. So you've got the longer side to the left, shorter side to the right. You do need to make some cutting, just this one cut, actually two cuts per kit. So grab your paper trimmer. You're going to line up the bottom part of the score line in your cutting track. Oops, sorry. The bottom corner in your cutting track up to the top score mark. Because, let me open this up. You're going to slice it this way. Okay. 
So you're going to do that with all four of the card bases. All right, I'm going to apologize. My allergies have kicked in this week, so I might have to get a lozenge or take a little drink here. So you're going to have those two pieces and then grab your pattern paper. Now, it doesn't matter. This is a splotchy pattern. It doesn't go any particular direction. But if for some reason you want your the blue up, you got to decide if you want them vertical or horizontal. But I want the splotchy coffee patterns. So you're just going to dice or cut it in half. Slice it in half for two triangles. All right, and set your paper trimmer aside. Set mine down here. Okay. Now pull this back. Let's look at our sample. I have stamped inside since I have coordinating pool party ink pad. Pam says we can hear you. Hello all. Yeah, technology. Doing this for a while. It shouldn't throw me for a loop, but for some reason it did this morning. I second guessed where I was because um, I wasn't seeing any comments on my phone. It, and I, you know what? I don't know. Something must be different on the phones because normally you can see likes and comments flying by on the phone, but not today. That's why I kind of freaked out. And it no longer says like along the top where I am at. So, okay. So adhesive, attach it to the top. And then this one goes on the bottom. And all four of these kits are similar. You will have to do the cutting of that car base and the cutting of your square of cardstock. I'm just eyeballing top to bottom, not really top to bottom, all three sides. Okay, there's that. And then I did, and a new thing with this Facebook stuff is the screen is super wide. So you're gonna see my carpet and messy space over there. Um, technology, they always improve it. Um, I can't get it just to my grid mat. Okay, you're the best part of my day. That is part of the stamp set, the a little latte or latte love. You're the best part of my day. I also use thanks so much and there's one of me and I put some other ones up here because as long as I have the stamps, I may as well use them, correct? Uh, again, I can't include stamped images in your kit, but I can certainly use them on my card to show you what they look like. We got some splotches to match the outside. And then I'm going to put some down here. Cute. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do there. I'm going to use the other ones, little coffee bean and whatever on different cards. Okay, this just goes in the inside. Now I'm not going to share measurements. You can, They were included in that emailed PDF tutorial I emailed to you if you purchase kits. Just the tutorials also available on my, on my blog at superawesomestamper.com. And that tutorial for this particular card features 19 other designs in this diagonal cut. So you'll be inspired to use your products in different ways with all those different samples. All right. And I don't think I could keep all the measurements straight today. Again, I don't know if you heard, but my allergies have kicked in this week and... I'm a kind of a little loopy. I didn't take any medication this morning because I didn't want to be slurring words. Um, it just makes me sleepy. So guess what I'm doing this afternoon? I am sleeping off my medication once I'm done. All right. Hi, Linda. Johanna said you should see my space. I know it's, it's crazy, but um, I love my crafting space. And after being a demonstrator for 20 years, I got real counters and real drawers. And I wish I would have done it sooner, but I would rather spend my money on paper crafts. So what happened was Jim's work was getting rid of some stuff and we got it for free. So I'm like, yeah, I'll try it. If I don't like it, I can always rehome it. Okay, so here and here. Now you're going to need a little bit of... Um, where did my comments go? Here we go. Let me, let me, let me widen up this thing here. Okay. 
um, don't put adhesive on the whole back of this pool party deckled circle. You can see why. If you put it on the whole back like you normally would, you normally put um, adhesive like in the center, you're gonna stick your card shut. So what I am going to do is, I'm gonna pull this up. I did use dimensionals for this one because it was pretty flat. So what I'm going to do is decide where I want that circle and line up that bottom triangle. And I'm just gonna pull this up, put two there, and I could put two here. I only had three in my little fingers there. There. Okay, now I'm gonna pull that off and Dallas says she loves this out. You know, it's quick and easy and triangles befuddle me. I don't know why. I think it's just because I, I don't think we should be cutting stuff in triangles. I don't know. I like circles better. All right, now all four of them are exposed. So triangle designs are just um, something I need a tutorial for. Maybe I should say it that way. Um, so once you see how to do it, it's, it's relatively easy. Okay, now another thing I like to do is do this technique with this ribbon. I don't like to do bows all the time. In fact, I, do, I don't do bows. I do bows as much as other um, ribbon techniques. And this is one that I like. Now, what did I do with my tear and tape? I don't know where my tear and tape is. Um, so let's do just a strip of adhesive. You got about five inches or so of this ribbon. And what, oh, I need more adhesive there. What you're gonna do is tack one end down and then just work it back and do some pleats and these pleats will mail really well. All right, now I, I am noticing my camera frame and when I actually set up before I freaked out and restopped it. And if you don't like where your pleats are, I was closer to the table. Let me see if I can pull that in a little bit. And you can see if you don't like where your pleats are, just pull it up and reposition it. Now with the tear and tape, it, it's a little more sticky than this stamp and seal, but it perfectly lays flat in your envelope. Then what else? Oh, two of these die cuts, these cup die cuts. I just attach those with some glue dots because they're small enough for that. So cup with the left handle to the, at the top. And then if I open this up, let's finish the inside. You got a strip of early espresso and you also have a strip of the coffee bean. You could, if you did the blue up, blue stripe up, you could maybe have this up. There's a little bit of a blue in there. I shouldn't say blue, I should say a uh, pool party, light blue. I'm just gonna attach these down. And if I gave you a little more of the bean, a little uh, wider strip of the bean or the Earl Espresso, just overlap them or cut them down. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit more showing of that espresso, aren't I? I don't see the spotches, but that's all right. And then I put the coffee cup over the bean so we could see it. All right. Uh, yes, the ribbon technique, um, uh, yeah, you, you can use my any kind of my techniques, um, Johanna, I hope I'm saying your name right, uh, that I was showing, sharing, but yeah, it's easily mailable because it's flat. Okay, last thing would be to grab your strip of embellishments, and again, each time I'm going to use off my embellishments on my used pack, here's how they arrive at your door, minus, or addition one strip, but that's how they are packaged now. So if they're packaged that way, oh, I see I did one, two, three. I did two large and one small. So let's do something else. I think what I did was, oh, where's my, where is my fussy cut cup? I had, let me, let me look at my drawer right here. Okay, we're going to do this one. My kit drawer is right there. These drawers are so handy. Okay, there we go. Then, then take your embellishment strip and decide where you want it. You know what? Since I have this snowflake looking one, I actually like the large one in the center. 
and then maybe the two smaller ones, one on the cup up here in the corner and one on the end of the ribbon. So that's your first card. I want to see if I can pull my view down a little bit. Oh, you know what? The view on the phone is smaller than the view that's coming through the computer. That's the problem. Wow, technology is just not my friend today. Okay, so that's the first one. I'm going to push that aside. That is the first one. Now on to your second kit. It's the same kind of uh, same kind of thing. Let me find it. I may not go through all of I may not go through this one because it's the same thing. And I apologize. I need to get a drink of water. <clears throat> Again, I have <clears throat> my allergies have kicked in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna take a lozenge. I was in a car. <clears throat> I was in a car on Wednesday and it hit me Wednesday night. Getting all that fresh air blown on me. Okay, here's the other one. Same kind of thing. I'm going to point out that you got a strip of these embellishments. They're called the In Color Shimmer Gems. I put three of the pinky peachish ones up there. None down there. This is what you got in your kit. Same kind of thing again. You just add the layers on the front. Inside I put the spoon and then just one strip. Now you're going to have to decide which layers you want up. The other card that I use the same paper on, I've got the swirlies up. But if you like the hearts up for both cards, definitely do that. If you like the swirly up instead, definitely do that. Okay? So I'm not going to assemble that one with you, but we're going to assemble the next one. And that's going to be this one. So the French press kit, if you did that one. So let's look here. Um, Kathy says, cute card. Thank you, card. Or thank you, Kathy. Pam says, love this card. Okay, so here's the one, one of the ones from the French press. So, the French press kit, here's what was included in the kit. Um, it was actually, I did not fussy cut your cups. So I fussy cut these ahead of time because I didn't think you had to watch me, but you got three cups. You might have gotten an edge piece, side or, side or bottom or left. That's what I used here. It was actually along the bottom. So this one I would fussy cut and maybe put over there. But I did not fussy cut that one, so we're not going to take time to do that. But again, I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. Where did I put it? We can go through the cutting. So left long side, or long side to the left, short side to the right. Line up your bottom right hand corner tip in the cutting groove. Line up the top left score mark in the cutting groove. Cut that off. Okay, and then grab your four by four inch piece of pattern paper. Doesn't matter which corner to corner you're gonna be cutting, unless you wanna make sure the swirlies are the as particular way, backside or just the coffee beans. So a tip of two opposite corners in your cutting track. And cut that. get this off to the side and bring our supplies in. Here is here are the supplies as you would have received them. So there's a long strip to stamp sentiments. Now this set, Latte Love, has got a lot of small sentiments that will fit in strips. And I just gave you a strip so you could go ahead and stamp whatever you want on there. And the inside, this is just stamped with Calypso Coral. Hello there, let's catch up. So I already have that done, and I already have that done. And you know what? I thought I would fussy cut the words. Tina says, Stampin' Up! always has the most beautiful paper, and I have to agree. So there were a few reasons I joined the Stampin' Up! family. It's actually going to be 21 years in August for me. The big one was I used to work outside the home, 
uh, with a 45 minute commute each way and I did not have time to shop. So I love the fact that even way back when stuff arrived right at my doorstep after I ordered it. And when I started, they were just switching to online ordering from actually calling in orders or mailing in orders. Uh, so I think I was fortunate when I started. I didn't have to mess with that calling and mailing and stuff. Okay, so you're gonna stamp your sentiment or whatever you want in the inside. Let's do, since I'm doing the coffee beans here, let's pull on my Clipso Coral. Did I get sidetracked? Oh, well, and another reason was I just love the fact that all of our inks and our papers, our ribbons and our embellishments color coordinate. Uh, it drives me a little crazy when you um, sing stuff at this door. The tones don't exactly match. I prefer color coordinating stuff. All right, so at the bottom of this paper, we're gonna put this piece and this piece. So let me figure out where I'm gonna put some beans. I might put some beans all the way across. A little, oops, my finger was there. There, decorate that up a little bit. Okay, do, I better shut my ink pads so I don't get them everywhere else. Um, all right, so Laura says she's been a hobby devil for 25 years and she loves her designer series paper. Yeah, our designer series paper is just vibrant is what I call it. Oh, this piece, actually you have to cut in half. I give you one strip, and if you see right here, they are both sides of the pattern paper are showing. So just cut that in half. Or if you don't wanna cut in half, you don't have to cut it in half. Okay. And then I have the, let's do the opposite. It doesn't matter who, which side gets glue. Let's do the bean at the bottom and the brown at the top. So you can, so you can see two different ways there. Okay, now this goes in the inside. I did not fussy cut that little extra piece. If you got a little extra piece, you might have uh, one for the inside or just a full yellow one because I gave you three of the three different cups. Okay, now again, let's look at this. This one I glued <clears throat> totally flat to the card stock because these embellishments, these pearl embellishments I included are thick. So I didn't want the extra pop of the dimensionals. So let's get this and I will have the brown up. I do like the brown, I like the swirlies with just and using the beans as an accent. All right, um, I do have kits available for, for purchase. They would go in the mail on Monday. You can also just purchase the PDF tutorial as well. And that's through my blog at superawesomestamper.com clicked on kits in the mail or the one of a kind icon to get the latest kit. It is raining here today, so I will be inside making kits or emailing people. Okay, and that goes in the center. Again, you can decide which side you want up. We're just gonna glue here and here. So I'm just gonna pull this up and line up the bottom right hand corner press down and then just pull this up. Make sure everything's still lined up. And then again, do the same thing with that pleated look. You, I usually give larger pieces of ribbon as well. So you may or may not use the full ribbon on your card. Okay, that. Now I did use a dimensional to pop up top of the cup but I didn't secure the bottom because it's just floating kind of over the over the paper the ribbon so let me do the yellow one so you can see both of them I didn't care for the blue one because that was just too much of a contrast with the color scheme 
put this one here if you wanted or save it for a different card and then there's only one me the edge of our dimensionals you can cut up and use and they're like a half a dimensional on these long sides <clears throat> All right, so there's that one, and then you just add your <clears throat> embellishments. Um, on the back side of your pattern paper, these mugs are all these little mini mugs, and so that's where I would have gotten those if Fussy cut those already. And just attach those with some glue dots for a little bit of jazzed fun on the bottom right-hand corner. And then I have two of the coordinating orangish Calypso Coral colored pearls at the top. So that is that one. All right, and then the French press. Let's get to that one. French press. Hello, Penny. Thank you for joining live. All right. Donna says she drives her, her crazy too when the colors are off. Yep. So this is the last one. This kit features a strip of the iridescent pearls basic jewels. So I'm just gonna step through this kit again, cut your card base from corner to corner. I've got some other things I wanna go through here. Cut your designer series paper corner to corner. And then included in your kit would be the French press pieces. So I do wanna show you how to assemble that French press part. It's very delicate, but you can see the white, I'm gonna say it's the craft or the bottle, the place where the coffee would be is behind the French press metal pieces. So you can see the spout kind of sticking out on the right hand side. And then I had the coffee sitting underneath. I thought it looked weird like that. We, I had to go get ours upstairs and look to see how ours looked, but yeah, coffee sits at the bottom. All right, so here's where you're gonna get your fine tip glue pen out. What is the name of this stamp set? This is Latte Love with the coordinating dies, Latte Love dies. And it has coordinating polka dot trim ribbon, which I could not include in the kit because it was sold out when I tried to buy it. And then these were also in and out of inventory, the coordinating adhesive swirled, uh, adhesive back swirl dots. So those are also part of the sweet collection. And this is an online exclusive collection only. It's not featured in one of our catalogs. All right, so what I wanna do here, let me do this. Um, it is also featured, I put everything in a PDF tutorial, a little latte PDF tutorial. So if you purchase any, or this, the bundle from me, this or this, a little latte sweet collection, you would get that PDF tutorial, and in that tutorial will be all of the products. Will be all four of these samples, actually, plus 19 other samples featuring this diagonal design. All right, so now I'm going to line up that spout on the right-hand side and kind of zhuzh whatever the metal would be in place. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over put some glue on the back and then put that in the center. So that's how I assembled that. Then other kind of tips for this set would be you got a length of this ribbon. You're going to cut it, put some at the top, put some at the bottom. You're going to stamp your thanks so much and fussy cut that out and put it at the top. And I put three of those pearls at the top. To assemble this one, I did use it. I uh, used I did use dimensionals because I wanted the center above to help the thickness of the card be uniform when I added those pearls. So that is that. And then I also added to the inside. The inside piece would be a strip, coffee cup, coffee cup, and a little bean. So the little bean came from the other kit. Or you can just cut a little bean from some um, early espresso paper that you have or some dark brown paper. Okay, so that is that. And I have a few minutes, so I'm going to be quickly going through some other things before 
I log off here at 12.30. Let me get this out of the way. And I'm going to wow you with some new products. How does that sound? And potentially new, uh, new samples for you. So here, here, well, this is not a new product. It's a carryover from the spring catalog. So ice cream swirl, and here's a sample using that. And I don't know where I'm going to put everything here. Flowers of Beauty, two different die cuts, two different ways. The pattern paper here is carryover. Uh, this is the new Unbounded Beauty, but here is the Sam set. And let's see. New, this one I just got yesterday. I haven't made any samples with it, but it is a photopolymer. And I did want to show they are packaging these a little different. They have for a little while, but they're printing the actual uh, images on the back of the white thing, the white insert. And then what I do is I will pull these off and put them actually on the case. So that's how I store those. This one is brand new too. I haven't made any samples with it. And this one we have a bundle bonus. So I have a coordinating PDF tutorial that I'll email to you if you purchase the Attention Shoppers bundle. And then this is a fantastic fun fold from last year. It's a double slider. Uh, and all these products that are on this card are still available for purchase, including these beautiful die cuts. So the fantastic fun folds, I'm gonna pull that in and share with you. We've got two months in. Our first month featured this retro fan. And what the Fantastic Fun Fold program is, one PDF tutorial a month with step-by-step uh, -step instructions, cutting measurements and scoring, and full color photos to step you through how to make the card. We've got these two available. And then one a month through the rest of the catalog year. Um, and that's called the Fantastic Fun Folds, and that's on my blog at superawesomestamper.com. You just click on the correct graphic. I'm going to hopefully show the blog, too, in a second. Again, Little Latte Love was what I used in the cards today. Um, my next kits in the mail will feature this technique, the double Z. This is the only sample I've got made so far. But again, I cannot include stamped images in the kits, so... I will feature some of these pre-printed pattern papers. So Unbounded Beauty, here we go. We're gonna show you some dazzling pattern paper. So here you see where the pattern is. And this is front and back side. So all this pattern paper is double-sided. So you can see that how gorgeous all this pattern is and vibrant. This is the Unbounded Beauty, and this will be my next kits in the mail. I'll get that posted next week at my blog at superawesomestamper.com. All right, other things here to show you. New products that I have. Is the new Paper Pumpkin out? Shannon Paper Pumpkin. It ships on the 10th and should be shipping by the 15th of each month. Um, so... It hasn't started shipping yet because uh, today is the 8th. It'll ship early next week. Okay, here are some fun embellishments that are brand new in the catalog. These are the same as the latte ones, but just different color palette. Okay, so I just wanted to share those. We still have the brush brass butterflies, lots of butterflies, um, easy embellishment. All of these are self-adhesive. That's what I love about them. I rarely buy any of the loose embellishments anymore. We've got a couple of brand new embossing folders. So this one is the Dashing Designs. I just got all of these as well, so I haven't made any samples yet. Cute Crochet. Eyelet. 3D Espresso. The Dotted Swirls. And actually the So Swirly. The So Swirly, I did show a sample with the coffee. Um, with the coffee, or not with the ice cream stroll at the beginning of this um, catalog tour. And then here's our new, uh, catalog. So it is smaller than past catalogs. They are trying to encourage us to shop the online store, and that's partly due to availability. They have an easier time controlling stuff that's uh, only published in the online store. So a couple of new ribbons, although this ribbon I don't think is new. It looks similar to ribbons we've had in the past, but it's holographic. It's very pretty. The new Shy Shrine Rock in color, and this is the new 
petunia pink in color. All right. Oh, I'm going to give a shout out to returning stuff that's only through the online store. The deckled circles I used in the kit. And then I don't know if the style of shapes is only through the online store. I don't think it's retired, but no, I can't remember. Okay, I'm going to pick up my phone, and I'm going to take you through my retired stamp style. Audrey, I know those are beautiful ribbons. We also have great ribbons. I, that's why I love to include them in our kits. Okay, I'm going to take you over and show you the stuff that is available through my online store. Let's look at this while we walk over there so that I don't make you dizzy. I've got a retired stamp sale, and this is what I have left. So these stamp cases right here are four cases for $20, just these cases right here. Um, the 3D star that's available if you do a porch pickup. I live in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Same with the snow banner. That could be mailed, but more uh, easily rehomed to somebody that's local to me. Th these Sizzix dies are $5 a die. So I've got this penance, the stocking, top note, pillow box, and the snowflake. I have a few of those square pillow boxes left. These up here are are stamps with punches so the top number is the catalog price the bottom number is the price you pay bp means there's a bundle with the punch so i make sure i get everything to you got a couple of keychains sister terms these right here are die sets so stamp set with a die is bd again top price was the catalog price bottom price is the price you pay got a couple of those and one single punch, the bell punch, and one single stamp set. All right, and then last, we've got two extra large dies, the rosette and the fancy favor. I'm selling all three of them for $10 because I want to also include the mats that you need to use to um, uh, process those through your embossing machine. And then the mini muslin bags, I've got 22 of those. Okay, now back over here. How many seconds do I have left? I have... I have uh, six minutes left. Okay, so I'm going to put you back on my stand. I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. And I'm going to pull some other things in. So if you enjoyed my presentation and you like my samples that I have, I would appreciate any orders that I get uh, through my online store. My current host code is SHW426YG. That is linked through my blog at superawesomesnapper.com. I'll put a link in this description, or I'll put a graphic in the One of a Kind group and link that my online store. But if you use a host code uh, on your order, you'll get a PDF tutorial. If you use a host code and place an order by June 10th, I'll set, send you a second PDF tutorial to your email inbox. So that's a little incentive for you to order through me. And then I also snail mail you a thank you card. So I try to reward you if you order through me. And then if you like Stampin' Up! products, um, like my presentations, think you might want to join my super awesome Stampers team, just send me a PM to get the conversation started. If you're on my email list and want to email me instead, or if you want to Zoom or FaceTime me, uh, to talk about what it means to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and be on my team, I'm happy to do that. And then let me let me look through my. Oh, I know. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna do my blog. Um, Lori, thank you for your compliment on my demonstration. Denise said great sets. Okay, I'm gonna show you my blog. I have a few seconds here. A few minutes, and we're gonna go to my blog because I want to show you the current Stampin' Up! promotion. Yeah, I'm going to take you off my stand. I don't have that fancy switching software, and I guess we can't use it anymore. So go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com. And then all these buttons up here, you can click Home. You can click Kits on the Mail. You can click Shop, Paper Pumpkin, Join My Team About, and Contact. There are also these what we call widgets on the right-hand side. You can click if there's a little hand or a star or however your computer does it. I uh, click on that and you can go to whatever it is that uh, is available. You can also sh look at the PDF of the catalog. Oh, I have the wrong catalog image there. I'll go and change that after the presentation. Um, let's see, one thing I wanted to show you was if you click on Fantastic Fun Folds, 
here is where the information is if you'd like to get the one phone fold in your email inbox once a month. We've got that retro fan already done. We've got this twisted uh, triangle easel fold already done. We've got a few up, um, few designated up through September, and then the rest of the year we're currently working on, but they will be fabulous. And you can purchase that through the PayPal link. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, hopefully I'm not going to make you dizzy, is if you click the Shop Now link, so this one is for orders over 150. This is for orders under 150. Either place will get you to my online store. It's just this one with the lemons will link my current host code to your order. And that means you'll get an email PDF tutorial from me. But if you decide that you are purchasing more than $150, you can always remove that host code in the shopping cart. Now, I wanted to show, because I couldn't print this out, Oh, oh, wait, wait, there's a bundle sale. Oh, darn it. Let me, let me go back. Let me see. Bundle sale on specials and click the bundle sale. What is, oh, let me go back. Well, um, the bundles, the die and the stamp bundles are on sale for an additional 10% off in June through June 30th. Just the dies and the stamp sets. In addition to the stamp and cut and boss machines, the big one and the mini one, they're an additional 20, 20, 10% off for June. So I wanted to share that. That's our current promotion. Our bundles are currently on sale, just the die set bundles. All right, and then other things, if you navigate the online store, we've got menus up here that you can click on stamp sweets, inks, online exclusives. Let's click there. The, the coffee one, little latte should show up somewhere. Let's see here. Here we go. Little latte. That's what I used. Here's the whole sweet collection. Everything is available. So you could purchase all of those. One set of the designer series paper, one roll of the ribbon and one package of the embellishments along with the photopolymer stamp set and the dies for one price and one item number. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to say thanks for sticking around and doing my little tour of my stamp room and everything that I offer. If you have any questions, make sure you just reach out on Facebook or if you're on my email list, send me an email and we will stamp with you soon. Bye.